All right, player ratings for Madden NFL 24 continues as today EA releases their top defensive pass rushers and their top defensive linemen. Everyone knows that getting to the quarterback is necessary in order to stop these prolific offenses and getting the ball out early can be all the difference when it comes to those defensive backs and linebackers playing in coverage. So let's go ahead and take a look at these top defensive pass rushers uh, that are going to be in Madden NFL 24. There's one particular I really have a problem with, and we'll go into a little bit more in depth with him. But let's go ahead and take a look at the list. All right, so coming in at 99 for another year is Aaron Donald, defensive end for the LA Rams. 81 speed, 99 strength, 99 awareness. This dude is a monster um, and somebody that I just think is going to be there for like for years to come. Like I just don't see Aaron Donald really slowing down unless he decides, you know, he's done enough in the NFL and retires. But I think he's definitely one of the best. You got Miles Garrett, who I think is underrated. Uh, obviously, EA doesn't think so, giving him a 98 overall with 91 acceleration, 95 awareness, um, 96 strength. But Miles Garrett is has always been productive, and sometimes he doesn't get the recognition because he's on a bad Browns uh, team. And this next guy, I feel like, gets more recognition than Miles Garrett, but I think Miles Garrett produces more. But we're talking about Nick Bosa from the San Francisco 49ers, 98 overall, 92 acceleration, um, only a 79 speed, 91 strength, 99 awareness. I wonder, like, it, I know it's somewhere out there. I'm pretty sure my guy Zan has something about how awareness affects defensive lineman the next guy this is this is the guy i have a problem with michael parson 97 overall 92 speed 92 speed or defensive end 87 strength 91 agility 97 awareness this guy just gets it done he can fly all over the field and the reason i have a problem with him is because i'm a commanders fan and i hate that the dallas cowboys have this guy on their team this guy is a disruptor he is a force to be reckoned with and he just flat out makes plays that are not there like just seeing him and watching him get after the quarterback Gary, now, granted, I think he could use some, um, you know, some more practice or some more, you know, growth when it comes to coverage. But I think he's going to get there like this. Again, this guy flies across the field. It's not that he can't cover anybody. I think it's just a matter of getting comfortable going back in coverage and getting comfortable um, guarding some of these tight ends and, and wide receivers because I, I think he can do it. I love Michael Parsons, um, even though he is a Cowboys fan. And I, golly, I just, I just hate saying that. I just hate saying that. All right, coming in at the fifth spot is Chris Jones, defensive tackle um, for the Kansas City Chief. Chris Jones, also a guy that gets it done in the middle, clogs it up, 96 overall. 79 acceleration 95 strength um 98 awareness i feel like his strength should be a little bit up there a little bit more um but i guess 95 strength if you start to look at some of the other players on this list on this top 10 list i guess it's about right coming in next dexter lawrence defensive tackle for the giants 94 another <sighs> nfc east rival um has a dominant inside force um, 94 overall, 96 strength, 98 awareness. And we'll take a look at some of like the best block shedding guys. Some of these guys are going to be right up there. Next, we got Von Miller, 94 overall for the Buffalo Bills, 97, um, what's that, awareness right here. And the one thing I will say about Von Miller, I feel like this, just like we talked about um, Harrison Smith in the last video with safeties, I, I feel like Von Miller is declining. I think his role is going to be less and less. Um, we'll see, though. We'll see. He's been in the league for a long time. 
um, but he's he's still productive. He's still productive. Um, then we have Cameron Cameron uh, Hayward at 93, Quinnen Williams at 93, and my guy Jonathan Allen at 92. Yo, it, it, I was playing the beta the other day. It's funny because I'm actually still playing the beta because I never exited out of a game. I just resume. And then when I get to the end of the game, I restart. And so far it's letting me keep playing the beta, but that's neither here nor there. But taking control over Jonathan Allen and being able to, you know, he gets off the ball quick. He is very nimble for somebody his size. He gets great penetration through double teams and he gets to the quarterbacks and he hits them hard. I love Jonathan Allen. I'm so glad that uh, Washington signed him back. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other um, kind of attributes that a defensive line lineman should have. And one of the things I really want to take a look at is block shedding. Block shedding used to be really big in previous Madden's. I, I think it died down last year. I don't think people really, you know, thought about block shedding last year when it came to defensive linemen. It's all about how fast they are. Can they get off, you know, the power move rating the finesse move rating so let's go ahead and take a look at the power move and you can see my guy aaron donald is still right there at the top miles garrett chris jones dexter lawrence cameron hayward nick bosa so all of the same guys really all of the same guys coming in at number 10 is jeffrey simmons though right in for the uh titan if we go to finesse move i think we're gonna still still see some of the same guys like when you're great you're great at everything you just don't I'm just not a power guy. You're just not a finesse guy. Like you are the guy. And Nick Bosa, Aaron Donald, Michael Parsons, Von Miller, Miles Garrett, Chris Jones, Trey Hendrickson, Demarcus Lawrence, Javon Hargrave, John Franklin Myers, all great when it comes to finesse move. Block shedding. Block shedding, I feel like is underrated, but I feel like with the abilities and everything, I think that's what kind of uh, gets lost is because there are abilities I think many people pay less and less to rate it. And it's more about what abilities do these guys have? Do these guys have double or, or nothing? Do these guys, you know, have, you know, speed rusher or, you know, they is all about abilities. And so when we're taking a look at block shedding, again, same guys, Aaron Donald right there on top. I mean, there's a reason he's the 99 overall. You got Cameron Hayward, Demarcus Lawrence, Von Miller with good um, block shedding, uh, Miles Garrett. Eric Quinnen Williams, uh, Christian Wilkins, uh, DJ Reader, uh, Cam Jordan, and Kalias Campbell. Kalias Campbell still still getting it done even at an 85 overall. Um, so guys, that's going to do it for the defense alignment edge rushers. Let me know what you think. Who got snubbed? And who on this top 10? Like if, if you were to look at this top 10, who would you move up? Who would you move down? And who would you love? if they were on your favorite team. Like for me, you know, give me Michael Parson. Give me my, I'll take any of these type top four actually, but I, I just love the way Michael Parsons plays. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure you hit stick that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back tomorrow. More ratings reveal as we take a look at running backs and offensive linemen. So hope you join me again. Hit stick that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys later. This should do shop. I'm out. Peace.